Hello and welcome to the Text Mesh Pro for Playmaker tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning a little bit about the difference between the Text Mesh Pro components versus the standard Unity UI components. So if I come in here and right click and say UI text, Unity gives us a canvas with a game object as a child of it. And there's nothing too special about this. This game object just has a text component on it, right? So if we type in, this is my text, you can see it getting updated here in the game display. If you want to change this text in Playmaker, you can come in here and add an FSM to it, and you put in a UI text set text. Okay, this action here would let us change it to something new. Okay, and the game object we're targeting is the owner, so it's this game object, and since this game object does have the text component on it, this should work just fine. Okay, so I'm just going to press play. And you can see it changes to something new, right? If you're new to all this, you can go see a whole tutorial we made about all of these UI components. But the one thing that we don't go over is how to use Text Mesh Pro with Playmakers. So if I come to our canvas, right click and add a UI text Text Mesh Pro, if I go ahead and click this, it adds a different game object. This time it says text and then TMP, which stands for Text Mesh Pro. And you'll see that the component on here is a text mesh pro text and in parentheses it says UI. So this component is different, right? So between the two, you can see it's a different component. The options are very similar. You can see that we have some different things down here with a material. Now on here, if I right clicked and add an FSM and then add the same UI text set text, you'll see that this red warning pops up it says game object requires a UI.text component. That's because this action only works with this type of component. So to work with Text Mesh Pro components, I'm just going to get rid of this. So I'm going to go over to Add-ons, Ecosystem, Ecosystem Browser. And in here, I'm going to search TMP. Now in here, you're going to see our Text Mesh Pro 2022 package. Okay, that's this blue package here. There are two packages on the ecosystem but the 2022 one is the one that you want to get. We've had the Text Mesh Pro actions on the ecosystem for a long time now, but those, those only worked with a very specific set of Text Mesh Pro components. The standard component that gets added when you right click and add a UI Text Mesh Pro text needs this package. Okay, so I'm gonna select this and hit get. Okay, and we're gonna import this Unity package, so I'm gonna hit import. Okay, and once it's green, it says imported and Unity's done compiling. So just before I close this though, I do want to just show you if I search Text Mesh Pro, you'll see that these are the two packages that pop up. Okay, so this is the older one. Now you might want to use the actions from here if you're using the other component. So if I come over to the canvas and right click and create an empty, okay, and on this empty game object, I'm going to come and add a component. If I search text mesh here, you'll see that the options we have are a little different. This text mesh pro text is different from the other one we have, which is text mesh pro text UI. But that's not what we're doing today because the standard has since become just to add these text mesh pro UI components. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna close our ecosystem and I'm also gonna delete this old text component just keeping our text mesh pro text. And in here, you see that if I search text mesh pro set. So there's a bunch of actions in here. This is a very extensive package, but the one that we want is set text mesh pro UGUI text. Okay, so I'm gonna drag and drop that in here. You can see that we don't get any errors. Okay, it's very important that you're using this UGUI one just remember that this is for the component that says UI, because if you try to say, come over and say, and use this set text mesh pro text, it'll say that it requires the text mesh pro component because these are two different components like I showed you before. These actions affect the same component type that the old package of actions did. So I'm gonna get rid of this and on set text mesh pro UGUI, I'm just gonna say, here is my fancy new Text Mesh Pro U GUI text. Okay, and we're just gonna make sure that this is big enough. Hit play, and there you go. 
you could use these actions the same way that you would for all the other components in here. So if I come in and say UI, setting uh, button and input fields, drop downs, font style, the text color, all that sort of stuff. And by the way, if you haven't imported Text Mesh Pro assets into your project yet, when you right click and go to UI to add the Text Mesh Pro, it'll first give you a prompt. There'll be a little pop up window that says to import the Text Mesh Pro essentials. So you can just go ahead and click that. Otherwise, the Unity projects don't have the Text Mesh Pro package installed by default. It's optional. Okay, so that's how you use TextMesh Pro with Playmaker. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.